did we have that ex, uh, war teachers or another teacher, I forget how many we had at the beginning, but we had, remember I had asked for Mr. Mejia at that time was going to retire and he said he didn't know. And then we had a discussion about the two um, employees that we were letting go for the parent, mm -hmm. Mrs. Garcia and Mrs. Medina. Mm -hmm. um, and we're getting back the, the point by the $63,000. Plus, we have the other teacher and I forget. No, Mrs. Garcia. Mrs. Garcia and Mrs. Garcia. Mr. McGee and Mrs. Garcia. So, does that mean we're not going to have to let go of those two uh, parent coordinators? Uh, at, this point, at this point, we're not bringing anybody back in because, as you'll see in the next section, the 0809 budget, it's based on. The budget is based on projections from the state that basically, we call them unrealistic because they're saying that they're going to fund education through unnamed revenues. Well, nobody is naming where the revenue is coming from. So we did the 0809 budget. Is it possible that we can bring some positions back? Yes. Right now, we're, we're not going to. We're not going to do anything yet until the state has the budget until we firmly know what we're going to get. Because they can say today we have this much, and, and then they can say tomorrow we don't have it. Okay. And, and I understand what you're saying. But I thought that was our understanding that if, when, when I asked about Mr. Mejia mm -hmm. um, leaving us, and then we still, I got, at that point we didn't know what here. And you said, well, you didn't know. I said, if we, if Mr. Mejia was, to return in his resignation, mm -hmm. then would that entail us to still have to get rid of those ladies right. or could we bring them back? Mm -hmm. And you said, well, at that point, you did not know if he was really going to um, retire. Was that yeah. a discussion here? So I don't remember yes. Mr. Media. Start with oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we, I remember you said there would be a priority to bring back. Right. Yeah, but I think we have to remember, too, though, just because Mr. Media retired doesn't mean that we're not going to replace him. No, and we and we are replacing him. That's that's our understanding. But there was going to be a difference of right. where he's at and right. where we replace. Well, until he because there's we don't know what the babies will be either. Because there's this, what eighteen thousand dollars is what they they make. I mean, it's a minimum. I mean, they don't they're not full time. I, I think I think the board agreed that there were a couple positions that we would reconsider as a priority to bring right. back. I think the staff also had a position that they wanted. I think that that is still a consideration, yeah. but maybe not for the purposes of this discussion. Yeah, right, right now we're not. Are we going to save some money with Mrs. Garcia and Mr. McGregor retiring? Yes. We don't know how much yet. Because we may bring some of the things of experience. And I hope she's not going to make a mistake with him. But it'll be fun. But at this point, we're not ready to bring back any positions. Right now. And when will we know? As soon as we have a firm handle of what the state's going to offer education. September, October, November, August. Mm -hmm. All the talk right now for the budget is it's looking great. It's looking fantastic for education. But they keep saying, and it was concerning us, they keep saying the revenue are going to come from other sources. Yeah. And nobody wants to say what these other sources are. And I think we have to keep in mind that even last year, that when they passed the budget in, in, in August, everything was looking great too. And in January, we got hit in the head. So uh, right. I think we need to be careful. Well, is, is it possible? Yes. Yeah. 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 That brings a position, but yeah. not right now. This position. Well, one no. of the trouble loans out there to fund this was uh, to uh, bond against future revenues of the lottery. Right. Yeah. I don't know that that dollar sign. And there's another one to increase yeah. the sales tax. Which had to go the below. So you're talking. Were they funded by a, by a, a certain um, grant or, or money? What, is, what, did their, what, what did they get paid out of? Was it uh, the third one? Title 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 and or potentially will be cut. You know, who knows what's going to happen. And so at this point, I think we need to, you know, be very careful about what we commit to if there's 
there any way to keep track of, you know, keep some savings back until we know exactly how things are going to come down in the state budget? You know, I, I think that that is vital that we do that. I don't think, you know, we made this adjustment. I think we need to stick with this adjustment until we have more information. Have we cut back on our overtime? I believe we have, yeah. I mean, well, for one thing, right now, we should. Let everybody know that nobody in the district works overtime without an administrative approval. Right. Prior to working with which is something And there's have. nothing going on that we need to have overtime anyway. Yeah, right now, yeah, right now there's not. In the summer, there's very, 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 we needed to do better coordination if, for example, we had a person who was uh, filling in in the cafeteria and then was going over and doing some substituting within the maintenance department. And, we, and there was a mistake made because the, they were putting in more hours in the cafeteria, so by the time we went to maintenance, they were putting in more than eight hours a day. And the overtime rules say, if you're working more than eight hours a day, you're going to get overtime. You know, we had somebody in maintenance get a maintenance substitute get overtime because he wasn't working more than eight hours in maintenance, but his full day of employment was over eight hours. So things like that that we would be looking to stop and uh, make sure that we don't do that anymore. Make a motion to approve the revised 0708 budget. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. 08. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. Now we move on to uh, consideration and adoption of the 0809 budget. Um, as Karen had mentioned on the budget narrative. Um, well, here's my, Tony, here's my budget narrative that I want to give out, first of all. Thank you. 